ESRC is one of seven research councils in the UK. We have a budget of just over £200 million each year. And broadly speaking, we spend that on four main areas. The first is in terms of building capability, building up the next generation of researchers to do social science research. Second area would be in funding that research, and perhaps that's what we're best known for. But we also fund data infrastructure, and the fourth strand is impact. So I think this evening is a real cum culmination of those four different strands of what ESRC funds. I think it's also important to say something about why we support infrastructure and what it is about infrastructure that's important. So I think it's intriguing that when we think about infrastructure, perhaps the three key watchwords are that it needs to be robust, reliable, and resilient. And in many ways, if infrastructure is working properly, we don't notice it. It's invisible to us. It's only when infrastructure breaks down that we become acutely aware of it. And that's where I think Matthew and his colleagues have a real challenge because, as he explained, they're facilitating other people's use of data, other people making an impact. And so an evening like this evening enables them to showcase the infrastructure and at the very end of the pipeline, if you like, the impact that the data they curate will have. So I think that's the first challenge, is if you're responsible for infrastructure, which should work and should be invisible, how do you make it visible and evident? The second challenge that I think a body like the UK Data Service has is that it's, in a way, its longevity is its strength. It's the 50th anniversary of ESRC this year, and looking back, the UK Data Archive in 1967 was one of our first main investments. It's the fact that we've got our very long-term cohort and longitudinal studies in the UK Data Service, and that they've built up all that expertise in how to curate data that makes it valuable. But we also need to be aware that we've gone through the digital revolution. We may not all be digital natives, but we're all living in the universe of big data, ubiquitous data now. So a second challenge for the UK Data Service is to continue all the ongoing hard work that they've been doing for many decades, while also embracing innovation and thinking through the challenges of big data and the new forms of data and data access that people are expecting. And I think it's really noteworthy that just in this last year, the UK Data Service was given an expert <coughs> certificate for two of its data products by the Open Data Institute, which I think is a, a real demonstration of how they are embracing some of the, the new innovations. So just to, to close, I want to reaffirm the ESRC support for data infrastructure. I'm going to leave it to the panel to talk more about impact. And I'm going to show that I'm thoroughly modern by moving to the front row so that I can tweet. So thank you very much and enjoy this evening. So back to you.